chance for survival would come from three ghostly brothers. Cartoon Network's Cartoon Theater presents Scooby-Doo meets the Boo Brothers, Sunday at 10 on Cartoon Network. Sliders! Sliders! Pokemon Sliders! Extreme rolling action! Now comes the Pokemon! Magic's in the ball! Train your sliders for battle with Pokemon target training. Then choose your best slider. I choose you, Pikachu! I choose you, Blastoise! And compete in the Pokemon Battle Zone as you smash your way to becoming a Pokemon Master. Pokemon Sliders, gotta catch them all. Each Sliders package comes with three targets and three sliders. Packages sold separately. I come from the net, through systems, peoples, and cities, to this place, Mainframe. My format, Guardian. To mend and defend. To defend my newfound friends their hopes and dreams to defend them from their enemies lives outside the net and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure, but I intend to find out. Reboot! outside come on no really I'm worried about the Mitchell account inputs it'll just take a nanosecond thought you promised remember that speech you gave me about keeping your promises dot hello I'm coming pretty cool huh I don't believe it Bob is your car actually running yep 
Isn't it awesome? Oh, not again. Dot! And the net codes? Formatted and docked? Of course, Ms. Matrix. Please, call me Dot. Yes, Ms. Matrix. <sighs> what do you think, Enzo? Yeah, let's. Wait! Just one more call. That's all. <laughs> you two put me down. What's our status? Status! After all the time, all the effort, all the lies, we finally have it. Gentlemen, meet the Medusa. Decimal's ultimate weapon! What is it? A box! I don't know, it's... a box? She thought she could hide its secret from me. She thought she could develop a weapon this powerful without my knowledge. Oh, poor fool. Megabyte! Oh, that would be her now. You lie! You lie! I was a fool to trust you! How true. It was, however, very clever the way you tricked me out of one of my toys. But whatever could you do with it? Just a little trinket. You might as well give it back. Really, Hexadecimal? I don't have time for this. Oh, how very, very sad. I'll have to destroy you all, then. Well, get to work, you two. I don't keep you around for your brains now, do I? No, sir, not our brains. Absolutely not. Ooh, this is it. It's over now. Oh. No, oh, this is heavy. It's not in my job description. Mind me. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, I don't care where you're from. That hurts. Ooh. Then I shall smite you myself, dog. Gentlemen, show the lady some of our own toys, won't you? I'll see you back at the tour. Hexadecimal, I am so disappointed in you. 
It was her fault, you know. Her increased security and strict privacy led me to my victory. She was so careful, so secretive. I knew she was up to something. And yet, despite the length and scope of our operation, we still do not know the true nature of the Medusa's power. Until now. No! No! This is no weapon! It is a viral bug! Computer, identify virus. Full scan. List possible cures and counteracting agents. Fire type. Unknown. Counter agents. Unknown. Cure options. Unknown. Getting your sorry self out of trouble? Unknown. I see you found my little surprise. <laughs> Isn't it sweet? You! All this time, all your secrecy, all your security, my whole operation... Yes, yes. A trap. Now I suppose you'll want thanks for all your hard work. with an unstoppable bug. Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> nice picnic, guys. I'm working here, okay? I'm working. Want some help? <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I gotta admit, it is kinda nice to get away from it all. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Brisket? Check it out! Something weird is chasing Brisket! File type. This is bad. Very bad. Uh, Bob, I think we are next. Uh, I think you're right. Glitch, ignition. <laughs> Quick, try her again. Again. Uh, boys. Frisket if the same thing happens to us. Don't worry, we'll be back. When we know what we're dealing with. Bob, what is that thing? We need to see Fong. Now. It is a bug, pure and simple. It can and will spread to anything it touches. We are all at risk. You, Bob, however, may be immune since you are a guardian. It is difficult to tell. Trust me, I don't want to find out. But I do want to get out there and warn everybody. We need a plan first. Poor Frisket. I bet old Mega Dump is behind all this. I say we crash his tower, big time. I don't know, Enzo. This one isn't his style. It's too unpredictable, too dangerous. 
It's completely random, almost chaotic. Hexadecimal? Bingo. It must be her. Look, even the Tor has been infected. But not Hex's island. Hexadecimal, huh? This one's got me worried, Fong. I mean, that hex is as loopy as they come. I'm gonna need everything you've got to fight it. Bob, worried? Dude. Worse yet, children, is that the longer one is infected, the sooner they begin to decay. See here, low energy goes first, like this sign. But then, high energy goes next. High energy. Sprites like us. And frisk it! Truly. That's not even funny! What are we gonna do? Dot, you and Enzo get everyone evacuated from the city. It is next in the bug's path. Right. Bob, you come with me. We must hurry. Greek action. Hey, you two be careful out there. You two. Need two Highline Virucidal self-adjusting and a level 8 desktop rebuilder wide fielding. What? This is not the supercomputer, Bob. I'm afraid this is all we have to offer. Virus Erase Command? Don't you think that's a little primitive? Perhaps, but it is the best we have. Hmm. I suppose if we boost its power with an add-on, it might do the trick. Crude, but simple. Then let us make it so. Where's a GameCube when you need one? Hurry, people! Come on, Bob! You can make it! Bob!
You were right, old friend. I am immune. Lucky me. Let Hexadecimal turn all my friends into stone, destroy Mainframe, and get away with it? I don't think so. Do you like my new garden, Scuzzy? It holds up so much better than some of my earlier members. Well, for now at least. Does it please you? I asked you a question! would be me! That's a good one, Guardian. Infect me with the Medusa. How delightfully clever. Why, thank you. Now, we can't have any of that, young man. And you? Immune to my Medusa. How very disappointing. I'll just have to destroy you the old-fashioned way. Glitch! Why? As much as I enjoy the chaos you bring into my life, it is time to be rid of you once and for all. Uh, I like... Uh, I like how you've changed mainframe. Do you? Why is that, my love? Well, now that everything is set in stone, you've made Mainframe so predictable. What do you mean? Everyone in the same spot, never changing, never moving, nothing but still and quiet. How very peaceful it will all be now. Peaceful? Oh dear. How true. No more battles with Megabyte? Quiet! Silence! No more unexpected turn of events? No! No! What have I done? No! Just peace and calm forever. No! No! I must... I must stop it! Stop it all from going so very wrong! Now that is one strange lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's one miracle after another. First I fix my car, then I save Mainframe from the brink of destruction. <sighs> but most incredibly, Enzo and I actually get you to relax. You both should get a medal. Thanks. <sighs> but I think I'll settle for a long nap instead. Warning. Incoming game. Warning. Incoming game. Saki. 
In an instant, the reality tension knows will be shattered. What could that be? He'll enter a world where alien princesses traverse the galaxy in living ships. Let's get out of here! Space pirates plunder at will. And galaxy police patrol the stars, protecting the innocent. But the most important discovery he'll make is that six crazy women living under the same roof all have the hots Tenchi. for him. Leave Tenchi alone! Tenchi is mine! Tenchi and I are meant to be together, don't you remember? Just close your eyes, Tenchi. I've got you! He'll have to deal with bounty hunters, ancient demons, mad scientists, and shared bathroom time. The universe needs a new champion. Tenchi needs some peace and quiet. Good luck. Tenshi Muyo, starting Monday, July 3rd. No, stop it, girl! Love stinks. Only to mommy. Why not power up with a good breakfast, like this one with Cheerios? Big old power and practice can help make you feel good enough to play in the big leagues. Cheerios, big old power. It's out of here. Someday I'll fight evil. Whoa! Are you ready to be an Avenger? To be an Avenger, you must be strong, smart, quick, and true. Avengers assemble. Ultron's cannon lights up. A is for action. Wonder Man's ready. Ant-Man's mini jet is set for action. Ant-Man extends. Captain America's droid explodes. The shield will protect the Avengers. Take that, Ultron. The Sky Cycle soars into battle. Falcon, surprise attack. This bird brain. Hawkeye's quick draw arrow will punish evil. Ah! The Avengers, united they stand. Each soul separately. Secret war is being waged against the Earth Sphere Alliance. What's happening? Shoot it down! It can only succeed with five ruthless young men. What's happening? We're under attack! And the deadly power of their Gundams. You won't get away. Retreat! Gundam Wing, today at 5.30. Suit up. <laughs>
high expectations, human beings leave Earth to begin a new life in space colonies. However, the United Earth Sphere Alliance gains great military powers and soon seizes control of one colony after another in the name of justice and peace. The year is after Colony 195, Operation Meteor. In a move to counter the Alliance's tyranny, rebel citizens of certain colonies scheme to bring new arsenals to the Earth, disguising them as shooting stars. However, the Alliance headquarters catches on to this operation. Just as I thought, others are attacking Oz facilities besides just me. Wish I could meet them. All of them. I'm not involved. Scenario for bloodshed. This is the new Edwards base reporting that the shuttle has arrived. Including ground vehicles, we now have considerable numbers. I see. Thank you. I have increased the frequency of our notice that all the top officers of Oz will be gathering at the new Edwards base. Well, at least the part about you and I being there is going to be true. Are you counting yourself in as a decoy? Positioning is 100% complete. We shouldn't need to increase it any further. So Zex is in Nairobi. Don't you think we should use him for something more significant? We do not have as many Oz soldiers stationed in Nairobi. We're expecting a fierce battle there. I see. Now, people will cast off their doubts and devote themselves to a changing history. Mission accepted. New Edwards. Oz leaders will assemble there. I can't believe it. Tro is gone again. Yes, but he did say that he'd be coming back, though. That lousy punk keeps wandering off on his own. Normally, I wouldn't even hesitate to fire someone like that guy. But he's too good to get rid of, isn't he? Blast him! I'll make him earn his pay when he gets back. Toa, how come you keep on disappearing on us like this? I can't believe Katra suddenly took off to a resort on his own. He's still a kid after all. He must have gotten tired of hanging around with old farts like ourselves, huh? <laughs> you fools. Don't you see that Master Catras left us behind so he could head out alone on some type of mission? What? Are you serious, Captain? He was concerned about our safety, so he left us behind. But it's far more dangerous for him if we're not there to protect him. I couldn't refuse his kind consideration for our safety, but... Master Catra, I only wish you would come to me for some advice. Is this the San Francisco Starley Hotel? I'd like to reserve a room, please. I'm on my own. That's not a problem, right? Looks like Troa. <laughs> Hi, so we meet again. Funny we ended up at the same destination. I'm doing this alone. So am I. But what if we helped each other? Don't think so. Two's always better than one. over the cockpit. <laughs> Duo. This time I'm definitely not gonna let the mission fail. How about trusting me a bit? Do what you want. What do you know? Looks like he remembered my name after all. Hmm.
No, man, this is gonna be quite the battle, isn't it? This mission's really big. I don't think you get it. You bet I do. This is our chance to finally destroy the Oz organization. This time is different. We're gonna eliminate every Oz leader. Yeah, then I go back to space. Edwards base, leaders of the United Earth Sphere Alliance gather for a conference, including the likes of Field Marshal Noventa as Chief Commander, General Septim, leader of the Alliance's Space Force, and General Vente, leader of the Alliance's Terrestrial Forces. However, Trey's arranges to secretly disseminate false information worldwide, stating that this meeting is in fact a general meeting of top Oz officials rather than Alliance leaders. Let's see which course the future will take. It'll take whatever direction you decide on. It's up to the Alliance whether or not my plans to reform succeed. That'll decide the future. Lieutenant Zex, there's an inquiry from the Nairobi base regarding our formation. Say we're practicing maneuvers and that we're conducting a simulation air battle above the Mombasa area. Yes, sir. Listen, this battle might leave you feeling disturbed later on, Noin. I do trust you, Zex. And if I know that this is an important attack, then I will fight. The Alliance and Oz. It's not as if the world will change if one replaces the other. So why should we even fight? The initial purpose of the Alliance was to deter the military powers of nations around the world. But now we have become such a military power ourselves. I'll say this. Expansion of armaments and development of weapons wastes money and labor. I don't believe the Alliance should be heading in such a direction. You're saying reduce the forces? That would only be the start. Our ultimate goal is for unilateral demilitarization. I'd agree to that. General Venti! We've all shed blood at one point or another. We had no other choices to make an ideal alliance a reality. However, for some reason our objectives have ended up changing. The time has come for us to end this period of bloodshed. If only we could stop the bloodshed! But how would you deal with the recent incidents? We've been under attack by mobile suits from Gundanian alloy made in outer space. These indestructible suits have the Earth in a virtual crisis. What do the specials think? You fought with them. We think they were made by the colonies for purely destructive purposes. Hmm. The time has come for us to end this period of bloodshed. Gundam will return in a moment. I sculptor Nicol... Excuse me, ice artist. Artist is making a giant penguin. That's art? That's not art. That's bogus. Flamin' Hot Cheetos, anyone? Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So hot, careful where you eat them. <laughs> Cheetos, Flamin' Hot Snacks. Dangerously hot. Nothing's bigger than the WCW, because we've got more power with WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Power Slam Wrestlers are stronger and tougher, and nothing gets in their way. With spinning kicks, Goldberg Spear, Sting's Bat Attack, and Nash's Power Bomb, these giants of wrestling will knock the competition down to size. Are you ready to come where the big boys play? Then you're ready for WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Just try to top us. WCW Power Slam Wrestlers, figures and rings sold separately. Never mind, just shoot! Gundam Wing now continues. Oh. 
What now, Trace? All we need now is an actor from the Alliance, yes. An actor? Someone to faithfully demonstrate the true feelings of the Alliance. It's natural for the colonies to feel uneasiness towards us. To nullify this uneasiness, we must open up dialogue with the colonies immediately. I agree there. Let us begin a new chapter in history through our discussions. It's not just between the colonies. We must focus almost all our attention on more talks between the nations of the world. But what about the problem with those mobile suits? Once they understand our desire for peace, the colonies will have no cause for creating such destruction. Let's talk. I'm sure we'll be able to find our way once again. I thought so. The future's about to head in the wrong direction. Shall we? No. Let's wait until the final actors arrive. Next, I'd like to focus on the details of our peace negotiations. We'll start... Uh, what's going on here? Marshal, we're under attack. This base is under attack. What? That's them. This defense line isn't like the others. Ten times more of them. That's much more than we estimated. Well, there's no turning back now. Taking too long trying to get through. Let's move in for the kill. There must be something we can do. Innocent people are very close. We've got to do something. Lady Un, the actors are all here. Perhaps it's time that we raise the curtain. Right. Lieutenant Zex, we've received orders to commence Operation Daybreak. Roger. All units descend now. with the colonies! Impossible, Marshal. The enemy is on an all-out attack. We could receive considerable damage wasting time talking. <laughs> All I know is that we can't stay around. Marshal, our priority should be to evacuate. Evacuate? We can't risk your getting slaughtered while insisting on solving the problem with the colonies through peace negotiations. I'll ignore your sarcasm. But you're right, there's no point in getting killed. Not if we're to promote peace negotiations. Then allow me to offer you our high-speed shuttle. It's ready for immediate takeoff. I never would have expected such assistance from you. Marshal, I too am a member of the Alliance. Yes, you're right. I'll go. This way, please. The shuttle is standing by at gate B-12. Hurry this way, we've got to get out of here. There's not much time, we've got to get out of here. This way, this way, let's go. Let's get on our way right now. General Septum. This way, please. I don't understand. I thought the shuttle was that way. I felt it safer for the delegation to split up. My personal shuttle is on standby at gate F7. There isn't room for too many, but it's the special's latest model. In that case, I'll accompany you and the other group. This way. Get as many mobile suits out as you can. There are only two enemies. Colonel, urgent message from our Fairbanks base. It's a revolt. The soldiers, they are revolting against the base. Colonel, sir, revolts are occurring worldwide, one after the other. What's going on? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't be ridiculous. Are you one of the traitors as well? Sergeant! What can those specials do anyway? Huh? This base is now under our control. Surrender at once. I'm not taking orders from rebels. Just see for yourself. It's a revolution. Creating something new is wonderful, but still, isn't this a bit bloody for the laying of a foundation? Your resistance is futile. We need as many comrades as possible. The era of the Alliance has ended. Our Oz organization must give birth to a true alliance on its own. Let us create a new system together. Not bad if I do say so myself. This coup d'etat had been carefully planned. Oz soldiers had hidden their identities behind the special's facade and were posted at each Alliance military base. Since the undermining began from within the overpopulated organization of the Alliance, the damage to its governing body was significant. Rebellious troops have taken over bases worldwide, in Asia, Europe, and even Africa. So where is Marshal Noventa? I don't know. I can't find any of them. What in the world is going on here? Crap! They just keep coming! Because you're all bunched up. No time to sit and chit-chat. I've got lots of work to do. Are they Oz's newest models? Yeah, but they're attacking the Alliance. Troa! Those mobile suits are just like ours. Could they also be? Whatever they are, they're right in my way. Those suits are identical. What's wrong? Why haven't we left yet? We're waiting for Marshal Naventa's shuttle to leave. We'll leave right after them. That's the one. It's an unfortunate coincidence, but I won't let it obstruct our peace proposal. M marshal What on earth? Now, young man, don't be foolish. Mission accomplished. The Alliance Leader Shuttle! What have they done, Marshal Noventa? Thanks for those missiles earlier, buddy. 
Now I'll return the favor. Cut it out, you guys! Haven't you guys gotten tired of these meaningless battles yet? What do you mean? Don't you guys realize? You've all been lured right into Oz's devious little trap. We what? Check out the Alliance's report. You guys just wiped out the Alliance's pacifists. Impossible. This is the colony's declaration of war against us. We were just discussing plans for peace talks with the colonies today. Marshal Novento was at the center of these plans, and he's been assassinated. He was killed by the colonies invading mobile suits. I repeat, this was a brutal invasion by the colonies. We will not yield to the colonies. We must fight them to the bitter end. Very nicely done, General Septim. We won't be needing you any further. What? Ah! A magnificent performance. It truly is a pity you had to leave the stage so early. Well, we can't have any bloodstains and traces wake now, can we? The second act has just begun. We'll be busy. This was all completely planned out by Oz. We became their puppets, controlled by Trace Kushranada. No! How awful! Damn him! But I'm gonna fight you, Oz, even if I've got to do it on my own. What have I... what have I done? Trace has taken the future by its reins. After being controlled like puppets, the Gundams become Lady Un's next target. Hiro, Duo, and Catra move in to prevent the explosion of the new Edwards base, while Wu Fei and Troa head straight for Trace. Trace is cornered by Wu Fei's sword. Next, on Gundam Wing Episode 8 The Trace Assassination. Stay tuned for DBZ. Get all mobile suits ready for combat. A secret war is being waged against the Earth Sphere Alliance. What's happening? Shoot it down! It can only succeed with five ruthless young men. What's happening? We're under attack! And the deadly power of their Gundams. You won't get away. Retreat! Gundam Wing, today at 5.30. Suit up.
Uno, dos, tres. Separately with washable tattoos. Dolls do not move without your help. What's the mystery of those cereals? The new taste of Waffle Crisp? The cookie fun of Oreo O's? The honey crunch taste of Golden Crisp? No, it's Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Now an Oreo O's, Waffle Crisp, and Golden Crisp. Part of a good breakfast. Scooby Dooby Doo. Now you can help Scooby find out who's haunting Monstrous Mansion with this free poster and decoder Whoa. lens from Post. Look, another clue. Uh, I know who it is. One Scooby Doo mystery poster and decoder free in each bark box of these Post cereals. And see how to vote for your favorite Cartoon Network character. Secret war is being waged against the Earth Sphere Alliance. What's happening? Shoot it down! It can only succeed with five ruthless young men. What's happening? We're under attack! And the deadly power of their Gundams. You won't get away. Retreat! Gundam Wing, today at 5.30. Suit up. To facilitate its reign over the world, the Romefeller Foundation promoted a new Oz, with its main power consisting of unmanned units called mobile dolls. Certain changes within the Foundation followed Trey's Kushranada's retaliation, including his being stripped of all power. At the same time, the Foundation was rapidly expanding its area of rule thanks to the highly skilled mobile dolls. After the space colonies accepted the Foundation, execution orders were released for the now isolated Gundam pilots. For them, it looked like the future would take a turn for the worse. The Sank Kingdom. This is nuts, but it's the only way. I knew it would be. How very kind of you, but just call me Dorothy, Miss Relina. And you are welcome to call me Relina. I couldn't. Huh? You're the heroine of our times, Miss Relina. I myself feel a great admiration for you. The Reunion with Relina. First unit, proceed. Second unit, stand by for orders. No signs of movement. The field has been secured. Sir! 
It's a dispute within their organization. Participating in their fight only makes you another target. A target? That's fine with me. Execution orders have been issued for us Gundam pilots. This way I can let Romafella know that I'm still alive. It's my way of retaliating. Mm -hmm. After the enemy, we'll show them what stray dogs are made of. <laughs> Is this really okay, Hiro? I finally got the pictures. <laughs> There's something so wild about him. Nice to meet you, Hiro Yui, and Katra Rababa winner. Welcome to Earth. Welcome to a warrior's paradise. What did you say? Oh, no. Oh, no. Repeat what you just said. You're mistaken. I haven't said anything. Liar! You think that the two Oz factions should just crush each other? Listen, fellas, I just want to live in peace. Quiet, you! Uh, 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 the Trace faction is ready to attack this area. All physically fit men are to join our backup forces. Get your boss out here and round up the people. <laughs> Total pacifism? That's right. We refuse to participate in military operations in order to attain peace. The Trace faction here are former Oz members that defended your land in the past. But now, they're resisting us as rebels. That dispute concerns the Oz organization. It has nothing to do with us. A very convenient notion of pacifism. Once the occupying army becomes a nuisance, you suddenly declare yourselves pacifists. The duty of the military is to protect the citizens. But now the troops are unwanted. I'm beginning to feel a little bit sorry for the Trey's faction. In either case, the battle will commence. We should continue our discussion after peace is attained. It's absurd to even speak of pacifism in the flames of war. Hmm. Oh. 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 Are you all right? I'm sorry I couldn't come to help you. Oh, thank you, lad. It happens all the time. Fighting back against them would only make things a lot worse for me. Oh. Are you a traveler? Yes. You couldn't have come at a worse possible time. This would be a beautiful place if it weren't for this situation. <gasps> They're starting to move in. They're close this time. I'll go check it out. Oz's airy suits. <laughs> Lure the enemies over this way. Don't forget to disperse the debris. That's right. Do everything to defeat them. Yes, sir. Shouldn't we be advising the civilians to evacuate now? Don't underestimate our abilities. We'll defeat the Trey's faction rebels well before they come close to the town. Let's go over our plans. We'll trick the enemy's advance guard by having our main troops attack first. Meanwhile, our mobile forces will come in from the side, enter the town, and attack enemy headquarters. The mobile forces will join our main troops, expel the enemy troops, and take over the town. The leader of the mobile forces will be... Red One. You're in charge. Can you handle it? Of course I can. I am a Gundam pilot, after all. New forces? Sir, their abilities outweigh the strength of our forces. <laughs> Send troops from our front line. Wipe them out now. Good. Their firepower 
first. Crease, smash through them! <laughs> are self-serving. I feel sorry for the civilians. Ah! Hero, please stop. Getting involved in this kind of battle will end up destroying us. Finish them off before their backup troops arrive. Mm -hmm. Didn't they tell the civilians to evacuate? This is the Gundam pilot calling. I will proceed to destroy enemy mobile troops. Intercept an enemy message! What's huh? this? Gundam? What's the matter? What is it? The Leo up ahead on the right! It's piloted by a Gundam pilot! Evacuation of civilians confirmed. Red One calling Blue. Blue here. What's wrong, Red One? Why weren't you responding? Our mission here has completely failed. Too many casualties. We'll retreat for now. What do you mean? What's happened, Red One? What's wrong? What's going on there? Come in, Red One. Red One, what happened? Red One! There is no need for armaments in pacifism. But unless the whole world starts thinking in these terms, I'm positive that the Sank Kingdom will never be a safe country. Under these circumstances, I'm delighted to have the opportunity to attend classes with you. You who are poised to take on the responsibilities of your respective nations. I really hope that together we can think of a way to eliminate wars from this world in the near future. Quite admirable. Any comments? Dorothy? I think it's wonderful. If everyone in this world were Miss Relina, wars would immediately be denounced as foolish and would disappear from this world forever. But if everybody were Miss Relina, nobody would realize just how wonderful you are. Dorothy, I'm aware that my views may appear to be a little naive to some people, but I wonder why people battle if everyone agrees that it's foolish to do so. I don't think that we're too far from the answer. Miss Relina, I think I understand why there is never an end to battles. Hmm? What do you mean by that? People love to fight each other, and fighting satisfies their instincts, you know. But many lives are lost as a result of fighting. Miss Relina, I'm not interested in results. You can leave things alone and still get results. Beauty lies in taking action. The action of fighting is the most fascinating human aspect. Throughout history, people have fought each other over and over again, as if battles are the purpose of human existence. That's why I started thinking in this way. It's not true that we shouldn't fight. As humans, I think we must fight. I'm afraid I don't share your opinion. I'm positive that we're capable of not repeating the tragedies of the past in the times ahead. Your wise opinions are also necessary in a war. History changes radically when the lives of people with similar opinions are sought after. Miss Relina, I truly believe the Sank Kingdom is going to become the center stage of these times. Watch me, Dorothy. As long as I live, I will continue to promote total pacifism, even if I end up getting killed. I'm sure these policies will bear fruit. That's good to hear, Miss Relina. 
You mustn't fear death, because death is merely an end result given to you at your birth. But don't be worried, Miss Relina. Brave knights are about to arrive before you who will be very helpful for your future. <sighs> they will be able to protect you. So, one of the enemies is a Gundam pilot. I suspect he'll cause a great deal of damage to the area. The mayor stressed total pacifism right up to the very end. We'd have to destroy this nation anyway. Position yourselves for battle. Sir! Mister! Oh, so you made it out okay. I was getting worried about you. What's this? A war's gonna break out. I'm getting ready to move out for a long spell. What the? New mobile dolls? Look at them all lined up. Those guys just love to fight. But we think that total peace suits us just fine. Huh? Our country took a courageous position. We decided to follow the Sank Kingdom. The Sank Kingdom? Miss Relina, mm -hmm. are you all right? What do you mean, Pagan? I mean that recently, there's been a great increase in the number of nations relying on the total pacifism of the Sank Kingdom. And all of these nations are relying on the Sank Kingdom to provide them with leadership. There's a lot of pressure to meet these responsibilities. Even you could get very exhausted by all this pressure, Miss Relina. Thanks for caring, Pagan. But this is what I am living for now. I have to do my best, or being leader of the Sank Kingdom would be in vain. But there's also a certain classmate of yours that has me worried. You can't let down your guard with her around. You mean Dorothy? Pagan, please, hmm. you mustn't speak badly of her. I wonder what sort of education she had at Romafeller. Dorothy is a very intelligent friend. I'm sure she's thinking about these war times even more seriously than I am. I'm sure that someday she'll come to understand our views. Hmm. Miss Noyne instructed me to keep this a secret from you, but... Keep what a secret? I'll tell you, since I believe you'd do better to have as many allies as possible right now. Well, what is it? Pagan? We've been able to locate the Gundam pilot Hiro Yui. Hiro Yui? Miss Noyne's on her way to meet with him as we speak. He's here? So Hiro has returned to Earth? He seems to be very exhausted as well. Miss Noyne says she's planning to bring him here to the Sank Kingdom. Then he's really... come back. The new models. It'll be tough with this Leo. seem to be panicked. Everyone else is relaxed. We're just tired of having anything to do with war. You're tired of it. Everybody is. It is possible to avoid fighting and live in peace. We've just chosen to do what seemed natural. These days, many people and indeed countries are beginning to demand total pacifism. Although their strength is still insignificant, once the number of people who seek peace outweighs that of the soldiers, I'm certain the world is bound to change. 
I heard that the Romafeller Foundation thinks of the Sank Kingdom as a problem. Because many countries have started supporting them. Eventually, Romafeller will be left without any supporters. So the Romafeller Foundation considers the Sank Kingdom a threat because they're afraid of them. That opens up a chance for total pacifism to be realized worldwide. What's wrong, young lad? Thanks for everything, mister. I'm gonna go there. To the Sank Kingdom. my way of retaliating. I'm fighting through this longer than anyone. Longer than anyone on Earth. Longer than Relina of the Sank Kingdom. Protect the Sank Kingdom! What? The Sank Kingdom? Who? Us? That's right! That's the job we must do here on Earth! What the? Hey, that's... the Beam Gatling from your Gundam! You're Gundam pilot, so I'm sure you know how to use that. I'll back you up while you get out of there. So you told Relina about it? I'm terribly sorry. I realize that this will increase the odds of her finding out about the Gundams. We'll handle it if it comes up. Pagan, don't worry. I'm sure that smile of hers will obliterate the suffering we're about to experience.
Hiro and Catra decide to stay in the Sank Kingdom, where Relina promotes pacifism. But the kingdom is anything but a place for rest. The Romafeller Foundation, angered by more and more nations declaring pacifism, attacks the Sank Kingdom. Hiro, Catra, and Noin head to battle in order to protect Relina. Next on Gundam Wing, Episode 31, The Glass Kingdom. Stay tuned for DBZ. Here comes trouble. See the show the Wall Street Journal calls a huge cartoon hit. Who's laughing now? Cartoon Network has a new number one show. Mr. Popo and I are both very pleased with the progress you have made here. From this point on, there's no looking back. All right, boot camp is about to begin. Critics agree, quality speaks for itself. Dragon Ball Z. Who's your weird? Nothing beats the full throttle taste of high sea. With vitamin C and delicious fruit flavor. It's an official sponsor. The Winter X Games wants to send you to this summer's X Games. Check out the grocery store. Log on to bagelbites.com for more info. Many will enter, few will win. Bagel Bites, fight into excitement. While on the go, at the office, or at home, get your email from any computer. Log on to CNN.com. It's free, fast, and accessible worldwide. Log on to CNN.com and get your free email account today.
everybody's on the lookout for Boomer, the flavor-blasted goldfish. Characteristics, fish shape, sunglasses, and a smart mouth, little smirk. He's most wanted for exploding goldfish with extra flavor all over. Like extra cheddar, nacho, sour cream and onion, and extra pizza. But careful, this little fish is armed with flavor and considered extremely delicious. Flavor-blasted goldfish. <laughs> Catch that blasted goldfish. What do you want? You got parts for a pod racer? Why are you building one? Lego and Star Wars join forces so you can build authentic Lego Episode One pod racers. Command Gungan subs. Pilot Naboo fighters. Battle Darth Maul Sith infiltrator. You've got what it takes to win the day. If you win, we split the 50 50. Lego Mania. The new Lego Star Wars Episode One collection. Each set sold separately. Swirls. <laughs> now only in new Kellogg's Fruit Loops with Jungleberry Swirl cereal. Swirls, part of this complete breakfast. Can I help you? New swirls. Oh. Oops. <laughs> you, you done with that cereal yet? Yeah, I was just working on it. Being a kid is great at Burger King, because when you buy a Tasty Kids Club meal, you can have it your way. No pickles, no problem. Don't want a hamburger? You can get chicken tenders. And every Kids Club meal comes with a really cool toy. So if you want to have fun, you can go to Burger King. <laughs> Here come the Teletubbies. Now you can join in the magical fun of the Teletubbies. With Teletubbies Beanbag Finger Puppets, only at Burger King. You can collect all six. One comes in every Tasty Kids Club meal you buy. People of Earth, prepare yourselves. The apes are taking over, and oh man, is it funny. The Chimp Channel, the missing link in television, premiering June 10th, only on the Super Station. From the deepest reaches of space, some darkness approaching. The ultimate enemy has arrived. Their single purpose, destroy our world. From the seeds of destruction, a new threat has arisen. Seven heroes stand in its way. I won't let the Earth be destroyed. And just who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. Saturday at noon, the battle for Earth begins. Tree of Might, only Toonami. Flash. Too much. The 
double KO can attack won't work, I guess I'll try a triple. Sorry, King Kai, but I don't see any other way. What's the matter, Kakarot? You don't seem too eager to continue. Don't mind me. Feel free to lead off any time. Goku's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'd hightail it out of there. I'll give you one last chance. Join me or perish. All right, I'll try the triple KO Ken attack. I hope my body can take it. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you're an Earthling now. You don't even have a tail, do you? Why did you let them operate on you? What'd they do? Get you while you were sleeping? Now I see why you have no desire to join me on the hunt. If we still had a home planet, you'd be a laughing stock there. Oh, man. It looks like Goku's in big trouble. This might be a good time to run like mad. All right, I'm ready. Please hold together, body. Try it, Bulma. Hush up, Oolong. This isn't a game. Goku's power level is rising rapidly. At this rate, he'll explode. Oh, no! Goku! Huh? 17,000? 19,000? Over 21? Ah! Ah! Holy oh, 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 oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I think so. Boy, oh boy, talk about overload. Man! What's the matter? Uh, hey, go on, come on. What? No! I told him not to go over a double, no matter what! This isn't good. I don't know if his body can handle it. I didn't have time to prepare him for that. <sighs> it's not good. But we can still hope.
on. We might just win this one after all. You are watching Toonami's DBZ 20XL. Flash. Alakazam! Hocus Pocus! You take who? Goku must be doing great if he did this. But what about Gohan? I want to know what's happened to him. Baba, can you get it to work? Obbly boo. Open sesame. Oh, I give up. I've tried every incantation I know. Goku's gotta be doing good. His power level's higher than the Empire State Building. Yeah, I'd say you're right about that. Boy. Maybe he's already won. Yeah. I don't know, gang. I seriously doubt it. Huh? You know, a candle flickers violently just before it burns out. You're saying that Goku's in trouble? No, I'm talking about candles. Of course he's in trouble. Abracadabra. Pogus, pogus.
last for Goku, gang. This looks like it could be the final showdown. <laughs> <laughs> Jerobi, what on earth are you doing here? Who, me? I've been here the whole time. You didn't see me cheering you on from behind the rocks over there? <laughs> well, no. Yeah, I didn't cheer out loud. I was sort of hiding. But man, I saw the whole thing. You're back! You're really maxed out. Yeah, I think I overdid it a little bit. That doesn't surprise me. You should have seen yourself. But now I'm spent. My body's thrashed. I can hardly move. Ugh. Yeah, good thing it's over. Huh? Isn't it? Well, at this particular moment, things are looking pretty good. I don't think he's enjoying himself. Wow, how cool! Us standing together! The victory won, comrades! Not quite. He's regaining control, and he'll be off my beam soon and probably mad as a hornet, I bet. Huh? Are you sure? Mm-hmm. See you, Goku! Huh? Well, looks uh -huh. like you got everything under control. <laughs> It was your genius father who invented this little technique. My father? We ran into some radical weaponry on Rigol 7, and things were looking grim until your father did this. <laughs> your father was an average fighter, Kakarot, but he was a brilliant scientist. Who else but him would have thought of creating an energy source that perfectly simulated full moonlight? <laughs> Now your own father's invention will be your undoing, Kakarot. Is there any hope for the warrior? Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.
Vegeta transforms, and it's a game of survival for Goku. But does our hero really have a chance? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Continues with another episode next. Flash. Red glue. That's me, Lucky Charms. Hearts, stars, and horseshoes, clovers, and balloons. Lots of golden rainbows and the red, red balloons. balloons. Lucky Charms, the part of this good breakfast with eight magical marshmallows. And they can name them. Can you? Hearts, stars, and horseshoes. That's me, Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Shinto shrine deep in rural Japan. A boy trains diligently. Soon he will become a man. Now is your time to grasp the future. His name? Tenshi Masaki. In an instant, the reality Tenshi knows will be shattered. What could that be? He'll enter a world where alien princesses traverse the galaxy in living ships. Let's get out of here. Space pirates plunder at will. And galaxy police patrol the stars, protecting the innocent. Oh, we're left for license and registration! But the most important discovery he'll make is that six crazy women living under the same roof all have the hots Tenchi. for him. Leave Tenchi alone! Tenchi is mine! Tenchi and I are meant to be together, don't you remember? Just close your eyes, Tenchi. I've got you! Now, he'll have to deal with bounty hunters, ancient demons, mad scientists, and shared bathroom time. The universe needs a new champion. Tenchi needs some peace and quiet. Good luck. Tenshi Muyo, starting Monday, July 3rd. Now stop that girl! Love stinks. Only to mommy. Nothing's bigger than the WCW, because we've got more power with WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Power Slam Wrestlers are stronger and tougher, and nothing gets in their way. With spinning kicks, Goldberg Spear, Sting's Bat Attack, and Nash's Power Bomb, these giants of wrestling will knock the competition down to size. Are you ready to come where the big boys play? Then you're ready for WCW Power Slam Wrestlers. Just try to top us. WCW Power Slam Wrestlers, figures and rings sold separately. Another phone, Betty's adventure. Eliza? Look, Darwin. Is that Debbie? That's the color sparse so good. Alone at last. Music, lotion, shade. Think I'll cool off with my wrap. Look, Donnie's getting Debbie all wet. My braids turned purple. Cool. And that's not all. Whoa. My bathing suit changed color. Great look. Let's do it again. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Amazing. Debbie's Color Splash Lagoon. Color changes with icy water. Donnie Doll sold separately. Yesterday, she was my baby. Mom. Now, all of a sudden, she's her own person. No lipstick, no earrings. She wanted a grown-up whitening toothpaste. I, I worry about plaque and cavities and all that stuff. Not just whitening. Then we found something that made us both happy. Introducing multi-care whitening from Crest. So complete. It not only helps keep your smile healthy, it now keeps it whiter, too. It's tough raising a parent these days. New Crest multi-care whitening. Creating smiles every day. <laughs> Bonnie! Hang over my pebbles! I don't have them! They're already gone! Gone! Hey, folks, someone else took your pebble cereal. Put it this good breakfast. Oh, who? Now you can help Fred and Barney find out who. 
with this free mystery of the missing pebbles poster and decoder lens. Look, a clue. What is it? One poster and decoder free in each marked box of post pebbles. And see how to vote for your favorite Cartoon Network character. Tom is dead. The absolution needs a new hero. Enter Tom 2. Demand desperate measures. Don't miss part five of The Intruder, a week-long interactive event where you affect the outcome. Tomorrow, 4 to 7 p.m. Only Toonami. Mihoshi is returning to her position. Hey, Mihoshi! Mihoshi, answer me! Hey, Mihoshi, I'm talking to you! Mm, yes, well, isn't this typical? Oh, Detective Mihoshi, ever since she was demoted, my life has been in constant turmoil. Hmm. Access zero two two three eight nine eight 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 seven. The DNA and astral patterns have been cleared. Password, please. Entering password now, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. Okay? The password is accepted. The line is closed. The official record is deleted going back to the time of access. I will now run the shadow program. Please make up a good excuse for the commander. I must relay this information. Detective First Class Mehoshi has just submitted the final report regarding Kagato. Important to note, this report contains the information related to the secret of Jirai. Yes, commander? Don't we have the report on the Kagato incident yet? Well, nothing from Mihoshi yet. Although I'm sure it should be ready any day now, Commander. Um, headquarters is putting a lot of pressure on me. We could turn in what we have so far. <laughs> I see. Level A. So we're submitting the censored report to headquarters. Um... And I should have the censored report ready in two hours. Yes, I can consider it done. Let's see. Level A. Well, then, all right. I, I suppose it would be easier than trying to summarize Mihoshi's report. In a couple of hours? This report could take me up to four or five days to get done. What am I going to do about this? I need more time.
Excuse me. Huh? Is the priest in? Well, young man, why are you staring at me? Oh, uh, I'm sorry about that. You want to see Grandpa, right? He must be in the shrine office over there. Uh, well, I'll go get him. <laughs> Grandpa! Grandpa! Gra where are you, Grandpa? What is it, Tenchi? Hmm? Oh! It's for now. Could this possibly mean that... Yes, it does. She must be over at your house. <laughs> What is this about? <gasps> oh, mother. now yeah yeah I'm coming Sasami! Oh! Oh. Sasami, Sasami, long time no see you uh, hey you <laughs> Sasami I missed you <laughs> hey listen to me you don't understand I've been trying to tell you I'm not Sasami uh. There. Now, you got it? I am real. You changed so much, Sasami! You changed so much! <laughs> you weren't <laughs> listening to me. <laughs> you used to have soft and beautiful hair. You dyed your hair, and it's all hard and pointy now. <laughs> and your eyes, they look so mean and vicious. <laughs> My eyes are none of your business. You didn't listen to a thing I said, did you? Oh, I'm sorry, Sasami. Sasami, you must have had a very tough life. Ooh. Um, lady, like I said, I'm not Sasami. Thanks for answering the door. Sorry to have troubled you, Ryoko, but... So much, Sasami. <laughs> now, now, please stop crying, Mother. I mean, after all, we're together now, right? Oh, Sasami. <laughs> ah, there you are, uh, Aika. Ah, there you are. Uh, Mother, it's been such a long time since I saw you. Oh, and just now I saw Lady Funaho also. I'm so glad to see you both doing so well. Huh? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Ryoko, now, I want you to listen to me. I'm about to do something you could tease me about later, and I'm warning you not to. Uh, yeah, whatever. Don't say I didn't warn you. It's for your own good. Hmm. <laughs> My mommy! <laughs> 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 she's... she's calling her... Mommy! <laughs> Nobody mocks my little Laika. Are you understanding me? Uh, I think so. Please let me go. Let me go. I did warn you. Sasami? Here, read this! He... Okay, uh, I'm sorry, pretty young lady. Oh. Okay, that's more like it. Uh, Come to me. Oh. Oh, Ryoki, you're awake, huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh, how adorable! Oh, come to Auntie Misaki. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah. Don't, don't mind me. Really. in Tokyo will return in a moment. Remember the old gang from your neighborhood? That little guy with the braces? Or those crazy sisters who wanted to marry you and all your friends? Or that kid whose best friend was a piece of wood? Or the guy with the pet goat who you turned into a hot dog that one time? I am a wiener! You remember them. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, tonight at 11 on Cartoon Network. They'd love to hear from you. Four, three. POV mode. Prepare to calculate ejection. Prepare to eject. POV mode. into Batman tonight at 6. Burger King introduces a new twist on the Whopper, the Bacon Cheddar Whopper. Crispy bacon and melted cheddar cheese with a great flame broil taste of a Whopper. to say no to the big chocolate chip cookie taste of Cookie Crisp. Go, go, go. Oh, yes, Miss Perkins. You can have cookies for breakfast. Chocolatey tasting Cookie Crisp, the part of a good breakfast that's got everyone howling. Cookie Crisp, the one with the big chocolate chip cookie taste. Someday I'll fight evil. Whoa! Are you ready to be an Avenger? To be an Avenger, you must be strong, smart, quick, and true. Avengers assemble. Avengers. Old Ones cannon lights up. A is for action. Wonder Man's ready. Ant-Man's mini jet is set for action. Ant-Man extends. Captain America's droid explodes. My shield will protect the Avengers. Take that, Ultron. The Sky Cycle soars into battle. Falcon, surprise attack. This bird brain. Hawkeye's quick draw arrow will punish evil. Ah! The Avengers, united they stand. Each soul separately. Only two men were brave enough to find the lost city of gold. Ah! On March 31st. Fetch. They're going to horse around. Have a ball. And let the fun begin. I love this game. From DreamWorks Pictures. We'll follow that trail. You
You drank the seawater, didn't you? The road to El Dorado. Your horse bit me in the butt! Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st, everywhere. Please have some tea. Thank you very much. Hmm. It's hard to believe I'm back here. Yes, hard to believe. Since you left this planet, the Earth must have gone through lots of changes. Come, Yoshu. How long will you stay in your disguise? Huh? I can't deceive you, can I? <laughs> Nobody here has any idea as to what I really look like, hmm? Mother? Hmm? Ah! Tenshi! When you're done sweeping outside, you have to clean the stairs. <laughs> he really is something else. Yes, quite a handful. <laughs> You know, at first, I thought I could send Tenshi instead of going myself. Can he fit in on planet Jirai? Perhaps. I think he can. He must be trouble for the ladies. I came here because we have received a report from the Galaxy Police. When Ryoko was resurrected, I knew that you were going to come sooner or later. But why? Why didn't you come when Ryoko appeared? The Galaxy Police Report worked as a trigger. Is that it? Yoshu. Huh? May I have another cup of tea, Yoshu? Oh, I should have realized. Mihoshi submitted the report to the Galaxy Police over two months ago, didn't she? May I ask what took you so long, Mother? I suppose it's because Mihoshi wrote, shall we say, an exhaustive report. Hmm? Mihoshi's report is top secret with the Galaxy Police. Then it will go to Jirai's Supreme Council meeting. That's right. This is not a private matter to the Jirai royal family anymore. The King of Jirai will be here soon, too. Father will come, and the Council's Executive Committee. We are its representatives, Misaki and I. <sighs> so the Inspector General of Information and the Supreme Commander of the Royal Bodyguard had to come all this way. Royal trees lose their power once they find their roots in soil. Yoshu, of course you understand. If we want to sustain their power, we have to keep them charged by our royal trees. During the past 700 years, the ships that were missing were your Funaho. Aeka's Ryuo. Of course, Sasami's ship as well. You're wondering about my appearance, aren't you? You would like to know the reason why Tsunami had to do this, wouldn't you? The report also mentioned gems that are the source of Ryoko's power. And it says that they were embedded in the Master Key to hold Ryoko captive. Ooh. Well, that Mihoshi really is thorough, isn't she? 
So, you already knew what to expect. I see that now. I just don't know what you mean by that. I only wanted to see how you were doing. My spaceship tree is the only thing sustaining my life. I was quite surprised when I found out that my tree hadn't lost its power. Then I made an interesting discovery. I found that Ryoko's gems were giving energy to my tree. And that means that Ryoko's gems have the same quality as the royal family's trees. That they have the same exact power. Even before we saw Mihoshi's report, Jirai's trees suspected all this. So when you fought with Ryoko, her ship could break through Jirai's defense area and showed massive destructive power. So there was no doubt. Her gems were powerful. But... Your ship must have sensed all of this as well. And you, having fought with Ryoko, you must have guessed this. Given that all this is true, her gem should be able to create the Light Hawk Wings just like Tenchi can. I see. You came to get Washu. We've come to check on Aika and Sasami. And I wanted to see you. You haven't sent word to your poor mother in so many years. Seven hundred! Uh, I was going to go back to Jirai after my victory over Ryoko, but something came up and I... well... Oh, boys. Once they find girls, they never think of their mom. That's the way it goes, I guess. I guess the mother just gets in the way once her son finds a girl. Hey, well, no, that's not true, Mother. My poor, poor Aika. <clears throat> so, by the way, Mother, have you already finished renovating the Great Hall at the palace? Aika does seem to be happy here. Thank you for the nice tea. <sighs> By the way, if you would like to visit our living quarters, I'll have Tenchi show you the way. I'll be over there in a short while. Tenchi! Tenchi! Uh, are you... Yes? Oh... Uh... No, nothing. I understand it's a tender subject, Tenshi, but I heard you lost your mother when you were young. You must have felt awfully lonely. No. How is it nowadays? Now? It's too crowded here. But you'll be lonely if we take the girls home, won't you? Or Tenshi? You could come with us, huh? Huh? Oh. Huh? <laughs> you scared us. Washu, this lady here is, uh... Punaho, the queen of Jirai, right? How do you do? My name is Washu. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. Young Washu. <clears throat> hmm... Uh, Tenchi, can you do me a favor? What? You, go ahead and take this home. I'll show her the way. But... Mm-hmm. Then I'll meet you at home. Lady Funaho, shall we? Excuse me, Washu. Huh? Could you call me Little Funaho? I'd like that. Oh, I... I don't believe this. Mihoshi even wrote that in a report. It took our Supreme Council four days to summarize Mihoshi's report. During which time, it was absolutely impossible to do anything else. Whenever Mihoshi is involved, it takes time, all right. 
Washu, you know the reason why we are here, don't you? What is your answer now? Tell me. My answer is no. Like you guys are having fun. Hello there, Tenchi. Welcome home. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. How you doing? Yeah. Well, well, well now. Whoa. You must be Tenchi. Why, yes. <laughs> what are you doing, Mother? Hey, you! Oh, oh yeah. please, girls. Hmm? You don't have to get what? jealous. I care for you, too. She's yeah. helpless. <laughs> so this is your mother? Yep, she's our mother, Miss Saki. What you are saying is this. Jirai ships are powerful but can't be mass-produced. But Ryooki can be reproduced easily. It's fine if we're the only ones with the technology. But if we're not... Hmm. I don't care who develops what. It's not my concern. Well, I don't want to alienate Tenchi, so... Huh? I will not help anybody. How's that? Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Washu. Lady Funaho. Yes? Please call me little Washu. All right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I am little. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boop. You want to achieve your goal? Gonna have to force me. The number one genius scientist. The second generation of Jirai's battleships, Ryoko and Ryooki. And the original space tree, Tsunami, plus the boy who can create the Light Hawk Wings. If I'm not afraid of all of them combined, is that it? I think Mihoshi alone will do. But I, I will not create another Ryoko. I will not. I see. You must be very proud of your daughter. But your great-grandson is even greater, great-grandma. Hmm. Hmm. The King of Jirai is here. That's it for Tenchi in Tokyo. We're finished! We're through! Just keep punching! Dragon Ball is next. Hey, Mom. What's cool? What's cool? Chuck E. Cheese is the real cool place to be a kid, Mom. You can just ask him. The last fry! Play up for it. You better catch up! That was so funny, I forgot to laugh. <laughs> Score one for the Ron Man! And two for me. McDonald's extremely goofy action figures take on ramps, curves, and the occasional order of fries. You can get one of eight characters from Disney's An Extremely Goofy Movie now on video with every Happy Meal. Did somebody say McDonald's? Welcome to Aviation Challenge, a totally unique camp. With simulators so real, fantasy becomes reality. A 
camp where you don't spend five days, you survive five days. Where you don't vie to be top camper, you compete for top gun. Where you'll train to be a jet fighter pilot, just like a real jet fighter pilot. And where poison ivy will be the least of your worries. If you're up for the challenge, call today. 1-800-241-5086. That's 1-800-241-5086. It cultivates the mind, the spirit, and the soul. And we must always cultivate the soul. The control panel's really messed up. You weaklings are no match for Nadia. See ya. to save you we must go now we must challenge kagato that's all we can do is that right i'll tell you what we can do we can find tenchi that's what we can do do you hear me <laughs> is he dead it's not over yet I will kill Kagato. I will kill him. Even if it kills me. Let's go! All the passages will lead to him. Let's go. Hey, wait for me!
There must be an entrance around here somewhere. Well now, looks like an invitation. Sure does. Let's not be rude. Right behind you. Could you please wake up? What? Oh no, where'd they go? What is this? Where am I? Hey! Wait a second. I can't forget my control cube. How many times do I have to ask you to wait for me? Welcome to my chapel, ladies. Enjoy the music. Stand back, Ayaka! Oh. Oh. Stop back! Oh. Is that a term of affection, or do you just not like me? You're quite powerful, Princess, but this chapel's force field counteracts all energy that attacks it. Now allow me to teach you some manners. Ah! Ah! Uh. Seven hundred years is a bit too long of a rest for you, Ryoko. You can't even tell the real me from my shadow. That's not like you. Kagatoto, my arm. You look quite nice and gray. will show me the secret of Tsunami Unit, Princess Ayeka. This place is really, really weird. Where'd they go? Agato might have them already. And if he does, that means I'm all alone. Well, that's okay, because I'm a galaxy police person and I can handle it. I'll just capture Kagato all myself and... and... Now, thanks for setting me free, by the way. This is a dangerous place you're in, you know. You're not kidding. Let's get these out of the way. Rise and shine. There she is. Now, this girl's totally out of control. Don't you agree, Mihoshi? Well, uh, Looks like nothing's broken. Um, excuse me? That jerk tried to destroy her, hmm? Well, I'll show him. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? Your outfit seems to be a science academy uniform from a long time ago. Your body is sagging a bit. The deterioration of your muscle definitely affects your ability to fight. 
It also affects your visual psychological tactics. Oh! Okay, Pipsqueak, whether my body is sagging or not is none of your business. What are visual psychological tactics anyway? Your sex appeal, of course. Hey, I'll have you know, my body shape hasn't changed for the past 700 years. What do you think of that, you big fat smart aleck? What I think is that's no way to talk to your mother, Ryoko. Uh. That's right. In fact, not only did I create you, but I created Ryoki, I've created this soldier, I've created so many things, really. But I used my ova for you, so I'm more like your mother than your creator. You must be that female student that was kidnapped by Kagato. A female student? No, I am Washu, and I just happen to be the top scientific genius of the universe. I am cute. I have to admit, I look a little young. To be your mom, don't I, Ryoko? Huh? Baloney! I've been alone for 2,000 years, ever since I was born! Ever since I was... I was born. But what in the world is this place? This is the reversed world. Reversed? This ship has two layers, it has a top and a bottom, but the intersection between them is one way, so that means oh, in order... Forget about that! Tell me how to get to Kagato! Wanna take revenge for Tenchi? How do you know about Tenchi? As you are connected with Ryooki, so am I connected with you, my dear. So I know... everything. I know how you feel about Tenchi. Uh, you like him, uh, uh, love him, you've never felt like this before, uh, and you'll do anything for him. On top of all that, you want to do this and that with Tenchi. Oh. Now don't you? Oh, she's thinking about that? Hey, stop, shut up! If you want to go, I won't stop you. For you, it's a piece of cake. Please, stop, Ryoko. She's not the one you should point your sword at. Huh. Hmm. Ryoko, I should have stayed out of this. Ryoko, before you go, I have to ask you one thing. I wonder, could you please? Do you think you could call me Mom? <sighs> hey, Ryoko! But why shouldn't we go with her? Because it's impossible. Once we're on this side of the world, we can't get out unless Kagato is destroyed. But she... Please try to understand. Uh -huh. That was Ryoko's astral body I brought here. Uh -huh. Her physical body is on the other side. Huh. Now, where are we? <gasps> Aieka. 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 Yoshu! Aieka, I need to know something. Tell me, Yoshu, what is it? Aieka, tell me about the power the Master Key can activate. The power embodied in the trees of the royal family, the strongest power in the universe, Tsunami. Tsunami? How is it that only your relatives can control it? Tell me! <laughs> Is it your blood? Let go! Or do I need something else, my dear? Help me! Help! Please! Come and help me, Tenchi! <laughs> well, I see Tsunami must be protecting those of royal blood. In that case... Hold it right there! Well, the shrew that was in the world of shadow has returned, I see. Where have you been? I've been waiting, but then your timing was never perfect. I'm at your service. Oh, where am I? What happened to me? You are all right now. Huh? Who are you? Tell me where we are. I am Tsunami, the ship of Jirai, and we are inside of myself. Inside of you? But you're human. Wait, I get it. You own this ship, right? No. The owner of the ship Sasami. Sasami? Yes. You see, what I am is the mind of this ship. You're like a human version of Ryooki? Oh my god, Ryooki! Where is everyone? I can detect Ryuo's key 70 light seconds from us at this moment. Are they still alive? I feel Ryuo's key responding from within Soja. Alive? They must be in close combat. Combat? Are they really fighting over there on that ship? Please, take me there. We have to get in there. Tenchi, listen to me. I cannot leave here. On this journey, we will have to go alone. Is that all right with you? 
That's all right with me. Well then. This Friday on CCF, Ed and Eddie are hosting again. Hi there. Hey, everybody. And this week, we've got the premiere premiere of My Freaky Family. Hi, hey everybody. Check this out. And then, it's a never-before-seen time squad. Ah, yeah. Join Otto, Larry, and Ty Russell as they travel back in time to save the day. <laughs> so join Ed and Eddie this Friday at 7 for Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, only on Cartoon Network. <laughs> CartoonNetwork.com. Not everything's for sale, but a lot is. Check out shop.cartoonnetwork.com and buy cool stuff from Scooby and the Powerpuff Girls to all your favorites. CartoonNetwork.com. Your click is our command. I go with them some more. They're okay. I'm saying. You see here on the ship's diagram, that goes this way and this goes that way. And so, there is no way out. Absolutely none. No way! That's it. Got it? Uh, nope. I don't get it at all. So I guess what you're telling me is there's absolutely no way out of here. Where were you when they handed out the brains? But how can that be? You created this ship, didn't you? Mm-hmm. And that is why it is so perfect! <laughs> okay, you pain in the neck. There are only a couple of things we can do here. Ryoko! And what should I do now? Take this and join in. Hooray! Hooray! Ryoko! What's that? Oh, right! Ryoko nailed him! I sure hope she did. This pillar is very dense. He must have gotten seriously damaged. Where are your manners, princess? Enjoy crushing you. Yes, I'm sure you would, if you could. What? Just what seems to be the problem, Ryoko. But why doesn't Ryoko use her full power? Well, we you mean she isn't? If she was, this would be over by now. Well, excuse me. Ryoko can't beat him like that, even on her own turf. Ryoko! Why? Aha, uh -huh, that was why what? If Ryoko uses her full strength, Ayaka will be burnt to a cinder by the counterflow of the extra energy. Well, you seem to have a lot of ideas. What should she do? Hand me your cube. can't get over there, but they can come here. You are making it easier for Ryoko to fight, huh? Even I can't do anything to Ayeka now that she's in another dimension. Why don't you leave us alone? Because if you do, I'll let you go free. Go free? Ryoko and I are not under your power anymore. 
And I am no longer your student, Professor. Do you think I haven't learned anything in the past 5,000 years? What did you just do? I directed all the force of the gems towards Soja. Although I could make it as compact as Ryoko, I think you'll find the power it can produce at one time is far greater than Ryoko. I'm getting weak. My power is draining. Professor, I'm going to show you a little experiment just like the old days. I forbid it. Princess Ayeka, you're in no position to forbid anything. And since you're not cooperating, I'll interrogate your brother and sister instead. <laughs> no, please don't! Sasami! Yoshu! There it is, just as I thought. It is truly amazing. How can it take that so much energy, huh? What? Whoa! I don't understand this. Oh. Ten wings of the Nighthawk. The royal family's most powerful ship, Tsunami. Is that it? My shield is completely useless. But that's not all the gems can do. No, that was only the beginning. That is the most powerful of all ships. There is one final use for you. When you lose consciousness, all the power from your gems will be so just to use. It's a pity, Ryoko, that you won't live to see me as the ruler of the entire universe. I'm sorry, did you? What was that? Are you real? I'm no ghost. Didn't think you were still alive, kid. No, Tenchi, don't. Now I'll be fine. Well, what do you plan to do? Huh? Jeez, I can't get it out! And now I'm worried. <laughs> Let us handle what? this. Huh? What a comical pair you two are. I got it! <laughs> you two, look after Ryoko. Yes, sir. What the? Damn, just when I need it most. Just a rusty old piece of junk. The master key is just a tool to activate the power of the ship. It's useless when cut off from the ship's power. Tenchi? Oh, I can't move. Hey, you two, what are you waiting for? Go help him! We can't. Kagato's force is increasing at an incredible rate. We are using all our power just to shield it. What's the matter? Your sword doesn't help anymore? If only you had left these women behind, you could have remained alive. I would rather die than forsake any one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right with me, because I have all the gems. <laughs> Marvelous power, splendid. <laughs> Come to me now, Tsunami! No, this can't be the end. Do something brilliant! You created this ship, didn't you? She's right. There's got to be something you haven't thought of. Well, okay, so there is just one more thing that we can try. What is it? We can pray real hard. It won't be long now. Your power joined with mine will be unbeatable in the universe. I'm scared. I'm sorry to fail you. I am not capable of rescuing your sister. I can't even use this sword. Have faith in your own power. 
Please be careful. Soja is very dangerous. As long as I have this sword, I can manage somehow. Listen. What? Don't rely on the sword alone. Tenchi, you have to trust in your own power. Tr trust in my own power? My power? Yes. How can you have any power left? I have been relying on this sword too much. I was going to finish you later, but why not now, huh? So, you're giving up! Tenchi, run! Get away! Uh, uh, stop! Uh, please don't! Oh, you got everything you wanted. Please. Bear him. Can this boy really mean that much to you? Well, not to worry. Very soon, you and Princess Ayeka will join him. Very soon, indeed. He won't be alone in death. <laughs> ah, now it's your turn. Ah, impossible! I thought the power from Tsunami was completely cut off! It's you! It's you! You're creating all this! The transformation of objects. The wings of the White Hawk. Unbelievable! Uh, no! Get him! I've got you! Same name as the Master Kiwell done Tsunami. Tenchi can't be copied. Splendid plan. Give one boy. A boy who can create the wings of the Light Hawk, huh? I want to make him mine! I'm gonna be the first to give Tenchi a hug. Tenchi! <laughs> I said I'm first! Nice to meet you. My name is Washu. I would like to thank you for saving me from Kagato. I, um. I like you. Do you wanna be a guinea pig for my experiment? What? Listen, Mom! What's the problem? Oh, Tenchi! Oh, I'm oh, you. Oh, 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 Shut up! I guess the spaceship was cut in half, also. Well, let's get out! Just another peaceful breakfast, huh? Yes. It's going to be another fine day on planet Earth.
Tenchi, isn't it so nice? It's like a carnival every day. I wish these days could go on just like this forever and ever. Tenchi. Oh, those days were like a never-ending carnival. A crazy circus we thought would last forever. It all started one day. Coming up next to conclude the series is No Need for a Conclusion. It's unquestionably the final episode. That's it for Tenchi Universe. Big O is next. Forty years ago, the world became a place without memories. In Paradigm City, the survivors struggle to rebuild society. No one on this planet can possibly know everything. No one. The rich close themselves into giant domes, while the poor live without protection. But Roger Smith stands for something more. As a professional, I just try to do my best. And he does it in serious style. Big Enemies of Paradigm City, beware. There's a new robot on the block. You're not going anywhere. You crazy little fool, you're gonna get yourself killed. Time to finish this. What day are we doing? We're ending once and for all. Big O. Coming up next. Good guys still wear black. Only Toonami. Fruit by the foot, foot after foot after foot, a long fruity fun. Have you ever seen anything like that? Nope. That's one long snack. Fruit by the foot, the fun goes on and on and on. Kellogg's Supercharged Frosted Flakes, as part of a good breakfast, can bring out the tiger in you. Come on through. There. <laughs> Atlantis is waiting. So is your own Atlantis diving sub. It dives and surfaces. Now you can collect all six in specially marked boxes, only from Kellogg.
A lot of people like this one. Or this red one is also popular and very stylish. It must be black. Uh, miss, did I hear you say black? Yes, your finest one in black. If it's black that you require, they're all funeral ties. So? It's for someone who has very lousy taste. Dorothy. Roger. What is it? I'm on my way back from work. You seem mad about something. I don't care much for the scenery in town. You don't like Heaven's Day? There's no logic to my behavior. It comes from emotions you wouldn't understand. What's the matter? Dorothy, there's still room. Dorothy! Dorothy, I'm sorry. I completely forgot. It's all right. <laughs> Here's to a future big artist. Whoa, check it out! See those two are all these plants. Yeah, wow, well, it's cool. Yeah, real. <laughs> For many years now, Paradigm has given alms to the citizens on Heaven's Day. At first, it was bread and wine. And as Paradigm's prosperity grew, it soon became money and goods. And everyone takes part in this exchange. That's right. Another tradition exists where you give presents to the one you love. Will you be giving a present to anyone, Roger Smith? <laughs> Preposterous! Do you think I'd waste my time doing that? After all, Heaven's Day began as a celebration for when Paradigm was founded. Why would someone who has forsaken Paradigm even think of celebrating a day like that? I'll say goodnight now. Hmm? That's odd. Norman, could I have said something wrong? No, sir. Nothing in particular other than the usual. Thank you, Oliver. Some rich guy dressed in a very sharp black suit really liked my playing yesterday. N nothing beats the taste of ham that you spent all your money on. So where will you be playing today, Oliver? Well, I thought I'd try out the dome up till Heaven's Day. There'll be a big crowd there. I sure hope a lot of people get to hear you play. This year, I'll definitely be able to get you a present. I can't wait, Oliver. Dorothy's birthday? Yes. When I looked at Dorothy's memory earlier, I found that her birthday was set as Heaven's Day exactly on the 25th. That's really a shame. And for her to be dressed like that in the middle of winter, she is a lady after all. Norman, what size dress does Dorothy wear? I believe size three. I'll be back. Very good, sir. I'll see you later then. What is it, Norman? What could possibly be that important to use radio contact? It's a job offer, sir. From the president of the Paradigm Corporation. It's an offer from Alex Rosewater? That's all I get? What? <clears throat> hey! Oh. I don't have enough to get her a present. Hey, buddy, you 
sometimes play sax on the streets, don't you? Are you going to play at the Dome on the eve of Heaven's Day as well? Yeah. I mean, there's more people the closer you get to Heaven's Gate. You're right about that. It's all better if you're close to Heaven's Gate. Take this. You can have it. <laughs> huh? Hey, can I really keep this? It's a good luck charm, so what do you think? Fine, then don't expect to come running back for it, okay? I'm leaving this world, do you understand? What do you mean, leaving this world? <laughs> All the people in this city are suffocating! <laughs> huh? Now, Mr. Smith, take a look on the back. In seven days, the world will be reborn? The card came five days ago, so seven days would make it Heaven's Day Eve. Hmm. <laughs> Isn't sniffing out criminals a job for the folks over at the military police? That wouldn't be a very good idea. If I'm not mistaken, you helped off the Major recently by getting rid of a few terrorists, didn't you? Let's not get the wrong impression. After all, I am a negotiator. If that message you read is true, Paradigm City is about to meet with a great disaster. Are you still saying this is none of your business, Mr. Roger Smith? I'll keep this if you don't mind. Hmm. This case is an exception. Keep in mind I won't accept another job like this. Fine, then. By the way, Mr. Rosewater, hmm? a man like you wouldn't happen to know of any good tailors in town, would you? Find anything? Nothing yet. This is your suspect? Yeah, he's a mad scientist who advocated nature restoration. What? Nature restoration? He claimed that he had recovered his memories of 40 years ago. And that the world used to be covered in nothing but trees, he said. And back then, jewels could be found lying around just anywhere, right? West 42nd Street. Nothing suspicious spotted. Nothing unusual here at East 13th and 14th Avenues. Hmm. If there are any explosives, our metal detectors should pick them up, but... There's just one day left. Dostin, you need to widen your search outside the dome. Huh? I wasn't exactly given orders to patrol outside the dome. Right. The only orders you've received concerning the matter is to ignore the outside. Dostin, why is Rosewater so worried about that threat? Actually, in addition to that letter, there was another one. Hmm? It talked about the end of the world and that sort of thing. Why would Rosewater want to keep that hidden? Don't know. He said it was part of some Book of Revelations. And what exactly is that? He didn't tell me. I checked all around and asked everyone, but no one has ever seen the picture before. No leads, huh? Not exactly. Hmm? Let your guard down. It may be a sham, huh? Who is it? Uh, it's you. <laughs> You're a talented musician and you have a beautiful girlfriend. You're bound to be successful someday soon. You're a smooth talker. 
Now you two make a great couple. Hmm? Uh, you've got the wrong idea. Hey, that's not nice to say, right? I'm used to it. Would you like sugar? By the way, Oliver, where did that great music come from? It was crumpled up in my grandfather's trash. Interesting. Where's your grandfather now? Where? Heaven, I guess. You know, all the houses around here have this card. What? Sometimes the elderly, they'll gather together over there and you can hear them sing. No one knows why or what they sing about. She said the old men, when they sing, don't know what they're praising, but they just continue to sing the songs in the book regardless. These fragmentary memories we sometimes come across make us remember insignificant things. If you want to live a happy life in the city, you're better off leaving memories alone when they pop up out of nowhere. That's Roger Smith's rule number one. Um, do you think you could buy this? Uh, it's real nice and pretty, don't you think? You really shouldn't take the easy way out. It's not artistic. Dorothy, do you think that Oliver has any talent? If you mean his saxophone, then no. The youth. You must use your pent-up energy to brave your way through the harshness of reality. What's that? It's Roger Smith's rule. Number two. It's ironic everybody's celebrating the day when Paradigm City could be in danger. We still don't have any leads at all, do we? I guess it's possible those notes were nothing but pranks, someone trying to stir things up, but that's wishful thinking. Hello, Laura. Hello, yes, you Tell me something. Uh, tell you what? Oh. Oh. Well. Please, come in. So. Can you drink some tea? A little. I don't need it, though. I can't really taste it. Well, what did you want me to tell you? Why does Oliver love you so much? Oh, well, you know how love just happens. You felt that, haven't you? Oh, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. It's all right. Let's see now. I bet the reason Oliver loves me is because I'm really easy to fool. Sometimes Oliver has to tell a lot of lies. And you don't mind? The only reason he lies is so he can keep playing the sax. He lives his life the way he wants to. That's really the reason why Oliver and I get along. It's best for the both of us. What is that? His present. But he might not accept it if he can't get one for me. Wow, man, look at all these people. Do 
kind of a monster you are. I'm not gonna let you ruin this city. A Megadeuce? What can I do for you, Master Roger? I know this isn't the best time, but could you pick up that coat from the tailors? By the time I'm done, it might be too late. Very well then, sir. than an animal. It was designed intentionally to grow and live only this long. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna cause any more damage. It's too dangerous here. Until we get rid of that monster, we should have you evacuated. Tell me, Chief, do you know the real meaning behind Heaven's Day? Uh, the real meaning? It's the day God's son was born. Sir, wait, you shouldn't go back there. Oliver. Laura, what are you doing here? It's too dangerous. I was worried about you. Laura. I wasn't able to get you a gift. That's all right. My gift is being with you. Laura. Roger Smith. I'm about to do something a little out of character. Could you play a special tune? Yeah, sure. Special it is. Dorothy, I wish you a happy birthday. What do you mean, birthday? It's the same as the real Dorothy's. It's not this month. Uh, <clears throat> Norman! Sir? Uh, <clears throat> huh? Here, here is your Heaven's Day present, Roger. Dorothy, you shouldn't have... Roger, I want to show you my appreciation and give you a present as well. I would like to do what everyone else does. Dorothy. Well then, this is from me. Thank you, Roger.
wonderful, Oliver. This is a great present. Throw, doofus. Popsicle, go, go! Want to see a bright idea from Crest? It's new dual action whitening. It not only whitens your teeth, it helps keep them whiter by repelling new stains. 
for a smile that nothing can tarnish. New dual action whitening from Crest. New Candy Blast Chips Ahoy! Whoa, hold on! New Chips Ahoy Candy Blaster here! Your favorite Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies blasted with candy coated chocolate pieces. What a blast! New Candy Blast Chips Ahoy! Princess Coco Hantus. It's my destiny to marry the man with the chocolatiest tasting cereal. Kids say that's my Coco Pebbles. Then I'm yours. But, but, but I'm already married. <laughs> oh, take my pebbles. It, just not me. Mmm. More chocolatey taste than all the others. <laughs> Barney, my pebbles. <laughs> Gotta make an arrow escape. Post Coco Pebbles cereal. Part of this complete breakfast. NBA Street. <laughs> EA Sports. Big, 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 big. Rated E for everyone. Every inch, every second counts. Because every race is the most important race in all their lives. That's drama. That's NASCAR. Coming July to TNT. I'm going to make sure that we capture every one of those cards. For Sakura Avalon, life was all boys and school work. Does everyone know what their assignments are? Yeah! But an ancient book, the basement, has changed everything. You gotta expect things. When you least expect them. When the cloud book opened, the world felt its fury. No! Now, Sakura and her friends must defeat the cloud cards one by one before they destroy the world. The greatest sorcerer on the planet is a ten-year-old girl, and the only thing scarier than battling the cards is doing her homework. These are the Guardians of Earth. Card Captors, Monday, June 4th at 5. It's all in the cards. You are a card captain now. Kids love it. Shadow, wood, sword, thunder, power, sleep. Card captors of the cloud. Expect the unexpected now. The secrets of the cloud were all a mystery. But when this mighty book was open, the powers were set free. Card captors, a mystic adventure. Card captors, a quest for all time. Each card possesses a power all its own. We've got to find them to bring the power home. Card captors, a mystic adventure. Card captors, a quest for all time. Card captors, card captors.
pancake's gonna be ready. I'm starving! Hasn't anyone ever told you that patience is a virtue? <sighs> I'm serious, Kiro. Pay attention for a second. Something really weird happened today at the aquarium. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Now just hurry up with the pancakes, will ya? Oh, come on, come on. Can it cook any faster? I'm hungry. Kiro, a penguin and his trainer almost drowned today. Well, what happened? There was a whirlpool in the tank. They said that the drain plug may have come out. But I didn't see the water level change. Oh, please, please. Oh, please. all right, here you go. <laughs> it wasn't like water running out of a bathtub. It was more like something else. Mm. Are you going to finish all those pancakes? Mm-hmm. I'm home. Ah! Oh, hi, Tori. Yeah, quick. Get back to my room. And keep quiet. Busy day, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a great save at the aquarium, Tori. Yeah. What were you doing there? What it looked like I was doing, Squirt. Tori, I'm serious. I was feeding the penguins. Really? Yep. And now it's my turn. <laughs> hey! Those are mine! Toss me around like some stuffed toy. Huh. <sighs> well, it took you long enough. I suppose that you finished off all your pancakes, because I kind of happened to notice you didn't bring me any leftovers. Aw, Kiro. You know, Sakura, I was thinking about the incident at the aquarium. You said the penguin and trainer almost drowned. Mm-hmm. Well, penguins are strong swimmers, and the trainers there are naturals in the water. And even if the drain did open up, it shouldn't have had enough power to keep them both down, which makes me think it must have been something else. The water card! Uh-huh. Cloud Reed created four element cards more powerful than the rest of the cards. Earth, fire, wind, and water. All four are dangerous and difficult, but water especially has a very wild nature. You'll have to call upon your strongest cards to help you capture it. And concentrate on Windy, Fly, and Shadow. You may use any two in combination. Hmm? I don't get it. Why those cards? Well, those are the first three cards that you captured, remember? That makes them your strongest allies. The Book of Cloud? Windy was the first. I was down in the basement. Cards? Windy? Concentrate hard on your second ally, the Shadow Card. I remember that capture. It was the first time I used the magic key. Key of Plow. Power of magic. Power of light. Surrender the wand. The force ignite. Roll ace!
helped you capture Shadow. Your third ally is Fly. That capture was a scary one. Don't worry. <sighs> I hope it comes to me soon. The aquarium won't be safe until I capture that card. Madison? Yeah? I can do this, right? I know you can, Sakura. <laughs> hey, I almost forgot. My mom gave me samples of the latest cell phone. Supposed to have much better reception. One for you, and here's one for Kiro. See? Isn't that cool? Cool, thanks. No problem. Who knows, Sakura? They might come in handy on your next capture. I'll call you if I get a brainstorm. Not if, when. Okay, Sakura. Think. Which two allies can capture water together? Can't you give me any advice, Kiro? Impossible. This is another test, Sakura. But... Mm-mm. You have to choose your own ally, Sakura. I don't even know where to start. Wait a minute! The water card showed itself at the aquarium! So that must be where the answer is! No. <laughs> Not exactly, Madison, but I think I'll know what I'll have to do when I face the water card. I'm on my way to the aquarium. I'll call you when I get back. Bye! Oh, boy. Hey, Sakura, what are you doing here? Oh, just looking. Me too. Come on, I'll buy you some ice cream. Oh, uh, great. They make the biggest sundaes in town. So much for sensu cloud cards. Got an idea, partner. You keep filming, and I'll get us some ice cream. We're undercover, Carol. We can't stop on the job for snacks. Later, Kay. Deal. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Whoa, look at the size of that one. Shouldn't we be getting that ice cream? What's the hurry? Nothing. I just really like ice cream. Look how graceful they are. I could watch them all day. All day? Oh, brother. She's got work to do. <laughs> hey, Teddy Bear, hey! <laughs> you laying a finger on me, kid. You're toast! Okay, partner. They're moving on. Good. See ya, kid. Mommy? Can we get two 
chocolate sundae story? With strawberries, please. Mm-hmm. And two lemonades. You got it. Sure you can eat all that squirt? Hmm. I think she can handle it. Oh, she gets to eat on the job. <gasps> what was that? saving her, Julian. Well, so much for plan A. It's here. Kiro, I was sitting right there and I didn't sense anything at all. Close call, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess we better take a rain check on that ice cream, huh? Nothing like a swim to cool you off. Cool you off? Yeah! Here's the pitch, and it's ball four. Willems walks. Good night, Carl. See you tomorrow, sir. Low heads to the batter's box, but River signals for a new pitcher. This could turn the tide for the home team, folks. Psst. What? I assume you've got a plan? I sure do. Madison, you go that way. Okay. Uh, you want to fill me in on it? You'll find out. Here. Right here. Are you sure you've got this all the way through? swimming lessons in this body yet. Don't worry. Hi, I'm all set. You found it? In the basement, right where you thought it would be. Water car! If you're here, come and get me! Sakura, this is your plan? Study partners. Hmm. There's 
one thing we still have to do, partner. Oh, what's that? Get us some chocolate ice cream! And a triple scoop sundae for Sakura! for some instant replays and exciting up-to-the-minute commentary. In today's episode, Sakura captured the elusive water card, but Madison played a very important part as well. Let's watch. The water card was tough. It tested Sakura's speed, bravery, and thinking skills. Not to mention putting Tori, Julian, and Madison through the ringer. It was up to Sakura, though, to figure out how to capture the water card, but she had to be able to count on Madison to help her carry out her plan. Luckily, her best friend was there for her as always. Okay, how about those fashions? Today's battle costume, designed by Madison, combines court jester styling with waterproof materials and lots of roof for movement. Not that Sakura couldn't capture the water car without a great battle costume, but hey, it can't hurt. And if you ask this reporter, Sakura's very lucky to have a best friend as talented as Madison. See ya! Kristen had trouble taking tests because she'd get so nervous. And then we found out that the real issue was her reading comprehension. At Sylvan Learning Center, we correct academic problems by precisely identifying the cause. That's why we start with the Sylvan Skills Assessment before we design a personalized program. Algebra was the worst for me. I couldn't do it and I felt so lost all the time. But it turns out I couldn't do it because I was bad at percentages. Call Sylvan. Our skills assessment gives a comprehensive profile of your child's strengths and weaknesses. It identifies skill gaps and is the blueprint for the program that will fill in those gaps. Because our assessment so clearly uncovers your child's learning issues, Sylvan is able to guarantee results for your child. I worked on my percentages, so now algebra is no big deal. If your child is struggling in school or even if you just suspect a problem, a Sylvan skills assessment will pinpoint the cause and offer a solution. Call 1-800-EDUCATE now to schedule an assessment. can be long or short. Rose prints can do sold separately. It's a great time to be a girl. Barbie. L'Oreal Kids! <laughs> New L'Oreal Kids Swim Shampoo. A splash of sunny orange. L'Oreal Kids! Bye-bye, Chlorine. Bye-bye, Salty Beach Hair. Hello, soft, shiny hair. New Swim Shampoo from L'Oreal Kids. And new L'Oreal Kids Tangle Tamer. L'Oreal Kids! One, two, three, detangling. No more knots. L'Oreal Kids! No more New Tangle Tamer from L'Oreal Kids. Because we're worth it, too! EA Sports. Big, 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 big. Rated E for everyone. Hop in. Ready for a fun cartoon cartoon summer? <laughs> Super. Let's go round up the others. Hello. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Next up, Cartoon Cartoon Summer. Tune in to your favorite shows all summer long during Cartoon Cartoon Summer. Tonight at 7.30, only on Cartoon Network. Things are no 
match for Nagi. See ya! Check this out.